Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Philip Molina and this is Fitness Origins. It's a fitness competition show that takes inspiration from the films of the MCU and uses them to get my fellow nerds, Eric Voss and Tommy Bechtel, into Thor shape. I mean, like, maybe not exactly Thor, but they do each kind of look like him in their own way. Anyway, this week is the kickoff to phase three of their fitness origins, and we're gonna kick it into the highest gear with inspiration from Thor 3. That's right, the time has come for Ragnarok. <laughs> the Ragnarok has already begun. Eric, Tommy. How you guys doing? Philip. Uh great. I mean I feel Eric, I hate to say this every week. I think I'm good. I think my fitness forages are over. You're you're done. Uh you don't have to do anything else then. Does that mean I win? No, <laughs> no he already no, said no, you're no. done. I win. No. I'm taking this to the bank. Oh sorry, Papa. I didn't mean to be fresh, Papa. Alright, so you so you wanna know what the theme of this week is? Oh, I already I know what the theme it. is. It's Ragnarok. It's the horniest MCU movie. So I assume to burn those calories, we're gonna have a thousand year orgy. Ooh, Philip, I love that. Great idea by you, a thousand year orgy. I did not say orgy. that. Can we order that on DoorDash? It's not a thousand year orgy. That's uh. not what we're doing for the week. What we are doing is what Thor Ragnarok was really actually about. One, the Grandmasters, not Orgy, gladiator battles. Uh, no, I actually don't want the two of you to actually fight each other because that would be a disaster. I assume you, you guys know how that would turn out. Uh, well, Tommy is a friend from work, which yeah. means I will destroy him. Yeah, I was going to say it would just turn into a kissing contest. It would start off as wrestling. A lot of tickling. More tickling than punching, yeah. that's for sure. A lot of hugging and crying, probably. Therapy. It would be like group therapy. Do not hug or kiss or fight or anything uh instead you're going to compete all week long in a more specific gladiator level way because each of your workouts is now asking you that you step it up all the way to the phase three versions of those challenges if you successfully do the phase three version of the workout which is the hardest version each time you do that that's going to be a blow you land on your opponent so i gotta blow my opponent till he dies it's not a thousand year orgy. Okay, got it. Okay, sorry. You know, up until this point, my family's been like, we love these episodes. This is going to be the week where they I turn on I was thinking me. that <laughs> earlier. Uh, all right. Our second inspiration is Leather Daddies. We're dressing up like what? Ella with the yes. horn antlers. That is a stretch. <laughs> you are not doing leather costumes. All right, just Hel tell us. Just tell us. Okay, fine. Hella does cause the event. And that is Ragnarok. It's the fucking apocalypse, you ah! Ah! And here's what I want you to know. No matter how hard you work, how nice you are, how hard you hug your little mommies. I really like Eric Voss. The apocalypse is not optional. It is coming. It is going to happen. Your worst nightmares, they're gonna come true. Philip, have you been talking to that fisherman who we ran over in college and we said we would never talk about ever again, but we both secretly dream about at night? Uh, no. I was talking about <laughs> your worst fitness nightmares. Oh. So Eric, you seem to be oh so scared of this idea that you're never gonna have enough time to dedicate to exercise. For me, it's like, you know, it's still finding the time to fit these in. So for this entire week, we're gonna make that true. You don't have time to dedicate to exercise and you're gonna love it. You're gonna have to get your workouts in while you do another task that you can't skip, like laundry or, or working on a video or watching a movie or tickling your little wiener or whatever it is, you're gonna get your workout in on top of that this week. How am I supposed to do that for a 35 minute session of HIIT training? You'll have to figure it out. <laughs> you can do squats while you paint the wall and you'll naturally go up and down. And you, Thomas, you're so scared of looking stupid. You're telling me. I, I went downstairs today to make a breakfast protein shake and I accidentally put all of the ingredients in the microwave and oh, did I feel foolish. It was more of a porridge. It was more of a, a protein stew. My point is you're scared of what people will think of you when they see you work out. Well, too bad. I want you to do every single workout this week in front of somebody else. It can be a relative, it can be a friend, ooh, it could be some strangers. Whoever it is, 
You can't hide from them. You have to let them see everything. Oh, every, so I have to do it in the nude? I, I did not say that. You and the authorities will everything. stand by what I said. I did not say you had to be naked. I'm excited. You know what? I'm conquering my fear. I am Thor. So we're now in phase three. And the challenge of this week, I guess, because the theme is Thor Ragnarok, I have to embrace my fears. And someone upstairs decided that my fear was not having enough time to do everything. It's not a fear, it's just a weakness. Trying to work out and get in all this stuff while watching Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'm really, really bad at multitasking. I should be writing some of this down. I'm just gonna have to like rewatch the whole first half of it. And I feel like I didn't get a very good workout in. Really, I think the Ragnarok of this week is Eric just falls way behind on his work and gets in a bad workout. Uh, Philip knows my greatest fear is uh, looking stupid when I work out. So he asked me to work out with other people this week. So I recruited my roommate, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Garrett's a very fit, handsome man. And neither here nor there. So yeah, you just hold the camera. Okay. okay. And we'll get started. Do, yeah. Do, should I work out too or? Yeah, yeah, you can work out after. Just hold the camera. There's also another thing that's been making it difficult for me the last 10 weeks and, and that's that I've been doing a lot of snacking outside of the, the healthy food. I've been, I'm gonna throw it out because I, I need to have a perfect week and get my diet on uh, on track. Snacks gotta go. R.I.P. to the chippies and dippies. So basically, this is just a joke week. I'm not getting in a good workout. And my clothes are not folded. This is not a good fold. A note to all of you out there, it can be dangerous trying to multitask by lifting or trying to do too much at once. Listen to a podcast or some great jams, a playlist while you run, but don't try to do other activities. So I'm at the park today, and I'm gonna get my workout in front of people, but I'm gonna try and be as discreet as possible because I gotta say this is very outside my comfort zone. Yeah, I had to do squats during the meeting today. On Monday, we got just played up, but um, now, okay, Eric's doing squats. And <laughs> oh, is this, are you doing squats? Oh, is no, this footage you. gonna get used for something? <laughs> yeah, it will. No. No, no. I, this is for my no. own personal archive. Feeling a little more confident, I decided to come back. They actually have an outdoor gym here. Ooh, there's a dog running towards me. So I'm gonna fight a dog in the park. No, there's an outdoor gym, so I'm gonna try and work out in front of some real muscle heads here. Some real ripped dudes and ladies. Hopefully ladies, to be honest. I still want those gladiator points, so I'm making sure to hit the new phase three version of the exercise. I, I did the same Tuesday and Monday. Proud of myself for doing both challenges. I'm surprised at how well I'm handling it. So there's no one here at the gym, unfortunately. There's a group of dog moms and dads behind me that sick their dog on me, so I'm gonna make them watch me work out now as retaliation. Darla, I'm sorry I couldn't pick you up from doggy daycare, but I had to do my mountain climbers today. Can you lick the screen so I know that you love me? Yoo-hoo, Darla, she can see me. Hello, boys. Hello. How are you? Good. Thanks for agreeing to work out with me today. There you are, my boys. Wait, no, apocalypse style. Sup, bitches? Oh, hey. that's not, I thought apocalypse style was just when they throw the In-N-Out burger at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no jokes, you little <laughs> I want to know how it was facing your worst fears. What, I didn't wet my bed and then get attacked by a bear, so I don't know what you're talking about. Fitness fears, please. Oh. It was hard. It was hard. I was too distracted. I'm so bad at multitasking. I feel like I both had to rewatch what I wanted to rewatch or have the new work calls that I was having and do more workout. I, uh, you know, felt silly at times, but I, I realized, like all of my fears, it was unnecessary. I can't be stopped. I am a sexual 
physical force that deserves to be seen in the athletic state. Yeah, I'll say when you're out there in the world and you see someone exercising, all you think to yourself is good for them. And then you move on with your life. The only time you ever think that person looks dumb is when they don't want to admit they're running. So then they start pretending they were walking the whole time. That never works. Just run. I, I will say I'm glad we did this towards the end of the challenge because I have gotten much better at the exercises. If we were doing phase one programs, I would have been uh, slightly more embarrassed. Tommy, I'm going to make you redo them where you do look <laughs> bad doing them. I want you to have no fears doing them. And Eric, I do get that it's very hard to multitask, but the key is actually to not try to split your focus, but rather just have two things going on while you're doing that. I've done that a ton of times. That's one of my favorite moves. For instance, oh. I watched all of Jericho. Wow! Oh, it's great to be able to catch up on all those references. <laughs> yeah, Jericho's an essential one. Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Merrick Voss, and today we're gonna finding all the Easter eggs in Jericho season two. I'm Jericho Voss, but you know, if you want Eric Voss's laser sight breakdown skills applied, I have to be in a sensory deprivation tank. A <laughs> uh, blues sensory deprivation tank. Yeah, yeah, I'm floating right now in water. <laughs> no. Oh, also, side note. Great job to both of you, actually, in stepping up your workouts up to that phase three version. As a reminder for our gladiator competition here, I kept track of how often you completed the full phase three intensity of the week and going blow by blow. Eric, you delivered four blows to Tommy on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tommy, you blew Eric twice, once on Tuesday and again on Wednesday. Way to blow, guys. Thank you, Tommy. And Eric, I am genuinely proud of you. Despite all of this filthy humor in this segment, I'm, I'm proud of you for getting four of those. <laughs> now you have taste in, in, uh... <laughs> But anyway, guys, the competition is only beginning. Let's talk about the stakes, which could be steak. DoorDash is providing Eric or Tommy with a cheat meal each week, and they're providing you all with 25% off your order and zero delivery fees as long as it's your first order for $15 or more, and that's it. You just download the DoorDash app and use our code NERDFITNESS. Previously, Eric and Tommy both used our code to both order editor John multiple meals. How was your ordering experience, guys? Uh, great. It was super easy. I was able to apply that nerd fitness code to get our 25% off and zero delivery fees and uh, make uh, John feel a little bit better. I was able to get John a pretzel uh, bun style cheeseburger he couldn't stop raving about. In fact, I wish he would. He was calling me at all hours telling me how that, uh, that bun made him go, woo, woo! A <laughs> reminder, that's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app on the App Store and enter code NERDFITNESS. It's the code, but also it's what we're trying to do with this show. Just achieve some nerd fitness and knock 25% off your first order and maybe 25% off these guys' body fat percentages. Subject to change, terms apply, both to the DoorDash offer and to the body fat situation. Eric, Tommy, tomorrow you both are going to embark on your most intense challenge yet. Whoa. What's on the line? What do you want that cheat meal to be? Well, if we're going intense, I want the classic uh, hug from home of a Chipotle burrito bowl. I haven't requested it yet. I've been waiting for the right week. This is my week. You know, if this is gonna be intense, I gotta go back to an ultimate comfort food for me, and that is delicious pasta. And I'm talking the real deal. None of these rice noodles, no whole grain noodles. I'm talking noodles made of just nothing but stick to your body, fattening sugar starches. Those are kind of honestly disgusting sounding the way you describe them, but I will get them for you if you win. Great. But now it's time to work out. Let's get limber. Oh, Woo! Limber, limber, limber. Limber, 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 limber. Well, I'm, you know I'm floating in water, so I can't really do that much. Today's challenge is inspired by Black Panther. In that movie, T'Challa has to battle for honor and to inherit the mantle of the Black Panther. So, we're gonna have a little bit of a battle of honor between the two of you. Oh, nothing's gonna be honorable about that. No. 
Now, each of you is going to be adorned with your own Black Panther suit, which is fitted with some specialty armor that contains your life force. Oh, okay. Your goal is going to be to destroy your opponent's life force while protecting your own. My life force is Lebat Blue, just so you know. <laughs> Regional beer joke. Once one of you has successfully destroyed all of your opponent's life force, you'll be crowned the winner of the challenge. Okay. Going down, Voss. Oh, I think not. It didn't have to be this way, Eric. But that's the way it is, Tom. <laughs> uh, two, one. Let the challenge begin. Ah! Your greatest fear was looking stupid. Ah! But look at you now. Ah! In a wetsuit. Ah! Is that the movie we're doing? Wakanda forever! Wait! We still have two left. Damn! Let's good look at you. Oh my god! God! Alright, well, I guess it's decided. Eric, you clearly have what it takes to be the king of Wakanda. Wait, that's what this the is? The African nation. No, of Wakanda. I'm not comfortable with that you are title. The new king. I'm not worthy of that. That's that not is. what this was supposed to I'm just the king of the hot tub. Your Highness. You guys tricked me into being racist. I don't agree with this. No, no, I'm not. Don't let anyone help me. Don't worry, you're actually not the winner of the entire week, or you could be. It all depends on how you did throughout the week and some math that I'm gonna do, and then we'll find out which of you is actually gonna get that sweet, sweet DoorDash cheat meal. Happy Sunday, my king. Uh, uh, Your let's, let's move away from monarchy. Uh, I'll happily. The king is making uh, great decisions! No! Now, rightful king of Wakanda. You may be the head of a state I'm in not. Africa, representing the Wakandan people very well and appropriately. Uh, a different appropriate appropriation, maybe. But there is a chance you might still not be getting that sweet, sweet DoorDash cheat meal. I don't, I don't know. If anyone saw that challenge, I would have a hard time not thinking Eric won. He absolutely destroyed me. Remember that a lot more goes into it. Uh, a little bit more goes into yours, Tommy, but I'll actually tell the audience about that instead of you. By the way, your, your DoorDash uh, drivers are, oh. well, they probably left by now, but they were at your door. Uh, please go grab your unaccompanied meals. I'll tell the audience what's what. This week, Eric and Tommy actually both did a very solid job with their phase three workouts. If you're following along with the Epic Hero Fitness videos, you can see that the phase three versions are all about pushing yourself harder and sometimes for a bit longer. Make sure to download the infographic linked in the description of those workout videos to get the full workout plan, by the way. And you might be thinking that Eric destroyed the challenge, which he did, and the week, which he also did, but I actually gave Tommy extra points this week for having his first Perfect meal week, but do you think that was enough to win the week? Well, let's see Well, the disappointments keep coming Philip first thing I was greeted with was a bag that said veggie grill Which was insulting enough, but uh, upon closer examination. It's uh, zucchini noodles Tommy we should get your mouth on one end of one of those noodles my butt on the end of the other yeah, Hell yeah <laughs> Ugh, <God. laughs> <laughs> Eric, please say something. Oh, I uh, I got my Chipotle burrito bowl. My dream meal, but uh, oh god, this smells so good. Um, here's the deal though. It is date night for me and Kelly, and our favorite date night meal is Chipotle. So I'm gonna hold on to this and eat it later, uh, and Kelly's gonna get some Chipotle as well. How does Chipotle go with date night? Any meal is a fancy meal with Chipotle. It's like the champagne of Mexican takeout. <laughs> Uh, it's only available in the uh, Chipotle region of uh, your ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas, that's it for this week of Fitness Origins. But for those of you watching at home, now is a great time to go subscribe to Epic Hero Fitness and plan your upcoming workout week. There are five days of workouts there. Pick a day to start and just jump in. Both Eric and Tommy did it. They're still doing it, and so can you. Here's some people that have already jumped in with us. You guys, I'm proud of the work you've been doing. 
Tommy, you seriously, you have your snacking under control, and the people in the audience are jumping in. I actually feel like we're getting somewhere with this whole fit nerd thing. Great work, guys. I just hope it's enough. Well, that was ominous. Right. Bye bye. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs>